this is the boxing class for those of you who are here for the first time but above and beyond that it's an exercise class it's it's all about uh, hello Vicky it's all about exercise and I hope I hope I hope that you good people get out there and exercise almost every day even if it's just a walk it's so important you don't have to do the boxing and all this this fancy stuff you can certainly just go for a walk or if you've got one of those spinning bikes like those reclining recumbent bikes at home they're fantastic parkinson's hates exercise so we're gonna <laughs> you gotta exercise parkinson's we call him mr p mr p that's parkinson's he's, he's a jerk we don't like mr p so mr p he hates exercise because when you exercise you feel better and mr p doesn't want you to feel good so so i'm hoping you get out there um of course we got snow on the ground ours is gone already here i'm pretty much gone where i live in parksville hopefully it's uh it's not gonna amount to too much and i think we got lucky we uh we managed to avoid most of this cold deep freeze that came across the country so we kind of said no nah, you stay out there we don't want you here so let's get ourselves warmed up i want to start with my favorite little tool ah ready to go We're going to start with a stick, right? So walk softly and carry a big stick. So it doesn't have to be a dowel like this. It can be a broom. It can be a walking pole. It can be a cane. It can be a giant dog bone. Whatever works for you. I like to just get my hands held on about shoulder width apart, just like that. I just relax the arms. Make sure your feet are nice and wide. Okay, here we go. We're just going to slowly start lifting up those arms. Only go as high as your shoulders will allow. Does that makes sense. We all have different comfort levels, comfort spots. You might have some some of that arthritis. Arthritis. You've heard of that guy. Arthritis in your shoulders. That's very common. So you just slowly lift that stick up. We're just starting easy. Why do we do these warm ups? Well, we're trying to get the blood flowing. We're trying to get your breathing up a little bit. Loosen up these joints. Now all of our joints have this wonderful fluid called synovial fluid. Synovial fluid. There's going to be a test at the end of today, just so you know. So when you exercise, you release the fluid in your joints. That's why sometimes you might have a sore knee. And after you've been walking for a little while, you all of a sudden your knee starts to feel a bit better. Well, it's because that joint gets flooded with that wonderful fluid. Now let's do a little twist around here. Oh, that's not feel good. I like to think about think about my body when I exercise. What what muscles are you using? What's being stretched? What's being strengthened? It's good to have awareness. And if something hurts, don't do it. Easy peasy. Now I am lifting my heels as I go around. Lifting the heels, spinning around. That's right, keep those arms out fairly far in front of you. Don't bring them in tight like this. You wanna just relax. Ah, oh, you look great. Now we're gonna bend forward a little bit and now I call this rocking the baby. Just side to side, rock that stick back and forth. You got a rocking stick, baby. You gonna rock the baby. That's it. All right. A little higher, a little higher. The baby's starting to cry. Yeah, it's too high. All right. Bring it back. Slow it down. Standing tall. We're going to hold that stick in one hand like this. And I'm going to put my left foot out in front of my right. And I'm going to do a push, stretch, reach out, like almost like you're doing a slow motion punch and I'm twisting twisting the stick as it goes forward so guess what we're going to put our weight front foot right there and then onto your back foot so I want to see you rocking forward rocking back your other hand is kind of just out there for balance rock forward rock back it's, it's a balance exercise disguised as a warm-up I like to throw these balance exercises in Like I always say, practice doesn't make perfect, but it makes a lot better. So you got to practice these movements. Let's switch. Let's switch hands. Go to the other side now. OK, 
Okay, big reach. Rock forward, get your weight onto that front foot, get your weight onto your back foot. Forward and backwards. Okay. <laughs> it's important to practice these kind of movements because let's just say that you, you um, trip on something, like maybe a, something on the floor or a root if you're on a trail. Well, if you trip forward, you have to be able to stop yourself. So when you practice these movements, your brain goes, oh, yes, yes, yes. I know what I need to do. I need to get my leg out there and stop me. If you never practice, your brain forgets. So we want to keep practicing. That's why we do these weight transfers, forward and backwards. Let's do the same thing side to side now. Transfer your weight. My feet are side by side, quite wide, quite wide. And I'm even lifting my foot up, as you can see. Maybe you can't quite see my feet. But side to side we go. I'll come back a little bit. Lift. Now, if, you, if that doesn't feel safe, leave your toe on the ground, just lift the heel. But if you can, try to do that. Try to lift that foot. You're going to start to feel that in the outside of the hips. It's amazing how fast you feel that a muscle engaging. Oh, I see some spouses working out. I love that. Get the spouses. Those who work out together are happy together, right? <laughs> Good for you guys. That's great. Good to see. Oh, you feel that? Oh, you start to feel it in the hips. Now let's put that arm back like this. Okay. Stick is up, is, is straight up and down. And this is one of my favorites. This opens up the pecs, the chest. Bring that all the way open. And I'm not twisting my hips quite as much. I want it all, I want to feel it in my chest this time. So go all the way around. That arm is pretty straight. Pretty darn straight. Doesn't that feel good though? Feels good to be moving these muscles, working these muscles, moving these limbs. That's what I meant to say. Moving the limbs, working the muscles. Our bodies were created for movement. They like to move. Not sit on the couch all day. Well, that feels good for a while. Feels good after you move, sit on the couch. <laughs> now let's switch, switch, switch arms. On Sunday, I went for a run with a friend of mine, and she's, she's about 15 years younger than me, so she's about 20. Yeah, that's a joke. And we went out to this lovely area called Cedar out near Nanaimo, and we decided to do this big loop, go around this lake. And we started off running, and I looked at her, and I said, I think we're running too fast. I looked at my watch, and yeah, we're running too fast. But she kept talking the whole way through. We ran for 21 kilometers. She didn't stop talking. I can't believe it. So I just kept talking. I kept trying to stay with her. <laughs> then we finally got back around where we started. I can't believe you can talk for almost two hours while you're running. It's amazing. I couldn't. I just listened to her. <laughs> Let's put those arms on the stick. We're going to go up overhead, up high. Legs are wide. We're going to come down through the legs. Now we're going to push our backside out behind. Excellent. Look at you guys. You look like warriors. Parkinson's warriors. Like those PD warriors, or the PD Avengers. Anybody in that group? Oh, you all are. Well, put your arms up. Excellent. Good. I've been hearing good things about these PD Avengers. Gonna look into that more. Oh, that's it. Now you're getting those legs involved. We're gonna start switching onto our legs. We've been doing lots of upper body movements. So what we're gonna do is three more of these. And two, and last one. Let's put your, your stick down, grab your chair, and let's get going with some leg warm-ups here. Hang is waving. Hang, do you have a question, Hang? Or are you just waving at me? I see he has his hand up. Nope. Okay. So I really enjoy using a chair, very handy. We're not gonna sit in it, we're gonna go behind it. Put your hands on the chair. Your right foot is gonna go in front of your left foot and we're gonna swing side to side. So it's very safe, but it's a great way to uh, loosen up the hip joint, which is important. If you're going for a good long walk, 
do these before you go. Do them in, in, in your house before you leave, or if you drive to a park, it's always something to hold on to. I do these every time I go for a walk or go for a run. I do this, and I do the, I'll, I'll show you the three that I do. They're very good for you. You want to keep that leg loose. Think like an elephant trunk. Just swing it in the wind. Yeah, switch legs, can't go too long. Again, just get that swing going. We're not even lifting the leg, we're letting gravity do the work. We're trying to loosen the joint. We'll get to the strengthening in a bit. And I do lean forward a tiny bit, put my weight onto the chair somewhat. If you stand up too tall, it's kind of hard to do. So you want to almost bend forward a little bit in the hips. Good. So that's the side to side swing. Let's do the next one. Now I'm going to hold on with just one hand, my left hand, and I'm, I'm going to go from here to take a little step to the right. And then I'm going to take my right leg and just kick, kick. And once you get started, just swing, just swing it. Don't, don't forcefully kick it. Just let it go. You can hold on with two hands if you need be. That's fine, or just one. But the goal here is to try to do the opposite movement with your arm and leg. Can you dig it? <laughs> That's tricky. Well done, you guys. So get that arm going. So that's a very kind of a uh, aggressive exercise. It gets the whole heart going. That's good. Good. Let's try the other side. You can start off with just the leg if you need to, and then bring that arm into play and do it the opposite way. As your leg goes forward, your back. I mean, sorry, as your leg goes forward, your arm goes back and vice versa. I always pretend I'm kicking a soccer ball when I do this one. Just kick that ball. Kick that ball. Oh, here comes Eduardo. Excellent. Shelly's here till one o'clock, but she has to go. So I'll let anybody else that comes in after one o'clock. She's doing it for me right now. What a treat. What a treat. All oh, right, so this is number two. So we do the, I do the side to side swing. I do the front to back kicks. And then the third one is our hip openers. So this is important too, see? So come back to that same place where we did our kicks, but now we're gonna lift the knee and out and around. Travel with the knee, opening up that hip. Again, if you need the balance, you can certainly hold on with two arms, that's just fine. I always tend to put my hand on my hip. I, I don't know why. Don't know what else to do with it. I can pat my head at the same time. Oh, see this? I'm multitasking. That's fun. Yeah. Don't do it too long. It starts to hurt. So who feels their other hip? Start to feel the other hip talking to you. Let's take a break. That's called, we call that opening the gate, right? It's like you're opening up a gate. But now we're going to close the gate. So how do we do that? We go from the outside in. And I wouldn't do any, any more than about 10 of these, just because it is, it gets kind of tiring for the other hip. You probably feel it after about four or five. Nice to do. Eight, nine, and 10. Other side, good people. Good people of Zoomland. Zoomlandia. Okay, let's open the gate. What did we do before Zoom, I tell you? If you watch a lot more television or something. Okay. Opening the gate. Try to do a circle. It's a circle. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Take a short break. And let's close the gate. Out we go. Close that gate. So if anybody wants, everybody, anybody wants to come and run 21 kilometers with me, come on over. We'll do it. You can drive behind me, cheer me on, pass me drinks. That'd be good. Three. Richard, you got to come on over. You'll do it with me. Richard will do it with me. He's a good aid. He's a good aid. Okay. Let's release some of that tension we just built up. 
So we're gonna put our hands on our hips and I wanna do the hula circle, do the hula circle. Note of caution, don't let your toes come up too high because then you start to do that backwards sensation of falling backwards. You wanna to try to keep your feet on the ground as much as you can, but really get those hips going. Us gentlemen, we tend to have you know stiffer hips than the gals, so you gotta work a little harder. <laughs> you don't see too many guys as hula dancers, right? Thankfully. Let's go the other way around. Get those hips going. You're gonna feel it in your lower back, maybe even the front of your legs, all kinds of good places. It's good for you. Feeling warmer yet? I hope you're feeling warmer. Starting to get into this exercise. Before we get some boxing going on here. Punch away some frustrations, anxieties. That's why we do this. Hands at your side. Feet are still out nice and wide. And what we're gonna do is just do a slow, whoop, I'll back up a bit. Do a slow lean down. The goal is to try to get those fingers down to the outside of your knee. And exhale as you go down. That's it. One side might feel tighter than the other. That's very common. Don't force it, just you know, just do just do your best. Do your best. Now one last thing, we're gonna put our hands on our thighs. And I want you just to bend forward, come back up, and then pull your arms back like that. And then all the way down, go slow. Bend your knees just a little bit, not tons and tons, right? So you want to stretch out the back of the legs. Be careful though, when any exercise, when you're bending forward, safety is important, right? So make sure you don't get, if you feel dizzy, stop right away, hold the chair. It can happen when, you're, when your head drops down, Drop your blood pressure, especially if you're lying down, you want to get up slowly. Too many falls happen when people get up too quickly. Let's do a couple more. Stretch out the back of those legs, all the way up, good. I'm gonna do a couple power moves and it's time to get some strengthening going with the dumbbells. Let's do this one. So we already did, or we, or we shifted your weight, but now I want you to bring your arm up like this and the other side. So up, transfer that weight, bring those arms up. How high can you get the, that, that arm? That's a power rock. Be confident with your movements. Standing tall on that foot, no problem, you got this. It's almost like a dance move. Little disco dance here. We all lived through the 70s, you know, we all know about disco. Okay, stop for a sec. Honest, and be honest, did anybody take disco lessons back in the 70s? Be honest. Anybody take disco lessons? Oh, I see one hand at least. Good, good. You learn how to do the, you know, whew, get those hips going. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Now let's bring those arms out to the side. And we're gonna twist. Stop that hand together, open, twist, open. Just like that. That's the power twist. A little bit tricky to get at first because you've got to remember to always go back to this. Close, open, close, open. That's it. And you can lift that heel right there. Twist that hip, lift that heel, open. So a common mistake that people make is this. They'll just do this. They'll go right straight to the thigh. We don't want to do that. We want to open in between. So it takes a little bit of practice to get it. And then it's more natural. Three, two, last one. Good, okay gang. We are now gonna grab a set of dumbbells. Make sure you've got your water handy. You want to keep hydrated, keep drinking, 
on cold days in the winter, you don't feel like drinking, but it's so important. Your body doesn't care if it's hot or cold. It still needs that water. So, okay, I'm gonna get my dumbbells. Once you've got your dumbbells, I want you to start. Just get used to the feeling of having them in your hands. We're just swinging. If you don't have dumbbells, you can just use your hands or soup cans, whatever works for you. So just swing those arms. Your shoulders will, will notice that it's um, I've got some resistance on the end of, end of your hands now, <laughs> end of your arms, you've got some resistance. Just get used to that feeling. And then let's just do this. You start to curl them up just to touch the top of your shoulder blades, just like so. like that. Good. Just adding little elements. Let's add an overhead. So from here, up, and then down. Touching here. Good. And down. Now notice how I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not rocking my body, right? So I'm just going up and down. Think about your core, right? You want to keep your core engaged. Always engaged just a little bit. What's your core? Well, your core is your abdominal muscles, your lower back, everything. It's like a girdle that goes around your body and it provides support for your spine. So that's why it's important. We'll do a couple core exercises at the end today. It's important to keep those muscles strong. Okay, let's change it up. Let's do a little, almost like you're doing a little one, two, just to get our shoulders ready for the, the boxing to come. Just a little one and a two. One, two, good. I like how everyone's keeping their hands up here as a starting position. That's what you want. Good, good. Good, excellent. Four, three, Two, one, and drop those arms. Anytime you do a shoulder exercise like that, you know, you tend to build up some tension in your shoulders. So I like to do just a little, a little gentle active rest. Active rest is exactly what it sounds like. It just means that it's a rest where you're just doing a little tiny bit of movement and it kind of just kind of releases a little bit of that tension. Active rests are very nice to do. Okay, let's work these posture muscles. So I want to start here. Bring those dumbbells together, elbows at your side, and we're going to pull apart. And as you do, we're going to focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together. How's the back of my head look? Any bald spots you can see? No, no. When my hair gets wet, you can see a bald spot. It's coming, it's coming. I'm in training, I'm in training for my senior years. I'm way ahead of the curve. Oh, that's it. Squeeze those shoulder blades. You're gonna feel this in the back of the shoulders, up in the trapezius muscles. It's best to do this with an elastic band, like a, like a TheraBand, you know, those, those, those tubes you have. That's the best way to do this exercise. This is a, not nearly as good, but maybe next round, next time we do this, I'll make sure everybody has a band with them. Because I don't think we requested that, so. Okay, again, active rest, active rest. Good. Let's do a little shoulder thing where we're gonna do the empty in the bottle or empty the glass. So we're gonna start with your hands at your side, lift them up, pour out the drink, put it back down. So we're empty in the glass. Up, pour it out, down we go. Mm -hmm. Try to keep those arms straight as you lift up. And why do we do the empty in the glass? Well, it forces you to keep your shoulders up there, your arms up there a little longer, so it's beneficial for the shoulders. It just means like you're holding that position. Excellent. Try to feel those shoulders. Three, two, last one. 
Good, let's do this as an act of rest. Bring them around, bring them around. Don't forget to breathe. It's so easy to hold your breath when you do these exercises. You wanna keep breathing all the way through. Now we're gonna do a little different take on a tricep exercise. Where are your triceps, you ask? Well, that's these big muscles. Back of the arms, really important. So normally we do, normally we do this, or we do this overhead. If you had a cable machine, maybe you've been to a gym where you push down like this on a cable machine, that's really effective. We're gonna do this funny little one where you just take, take your right hand and then put your dumbbell on your hip, bend up your elbow, and we're gonna go like this. So it's like your, I call this one Sir Lancelot. It's like you're pulling the uh, Excalibur, the sword from the, from the stone. Make sense? It's all right. I did have a degree in English, so I read a lot of unnecessary literature. You don't really need to, in order to get through life. <laughs> so I read a lot of stuff. My dad was into Sir Lancelot, so I read Sir Lancelot. Walter Scott, Sir Walter Scott. So you get the idea, you're pulling the sword, and you lift, you gotta bend that elbow. You gotta bend that elbow, this arm stays up, and you're gonna feel it back. It's kind of a funny exercise. Lady of the Lake. I know you're looking at me like, he's even a little stranger than normal today. What's he talking about? Oh, you feel that? I can feel that. Woo! Oh boy, let's change arms. So put it in your other hand. So it's almost like you turn your hand over, place it down here, and then you pull like that. Pull it up and out. Pull it up and out, just like that. That's it. Excellent. So just a different take on this, this, the, uh, ex, the triceps. You also work the back, back of the shoulders, the, the, the third head, the rear deltoid. So it's important to work those guys too. Well done. So it doesn't take long. Your arm starts to get a little tired. Three, two, last one. There it is. Okay, both dumbbells. We're gonna work our big back muscles now. So I wanna bend forward, push your backside out. Leaning forward, arms out in front, and we're gonna pull up like this. Let's really squeeze those shoulder blades. Careful not to do like the, the, the arch back. Don't arch your back. Keep your back nice and straight. Pull up. Look down on the floor. Now, the one thing you're probably noticing is, boy, that feels pretty easy. Well, that's because those are big muscles, your big back muscles, the lats, latissimus dorsi. So this is when it's probably good, you know, if, if you keep going with the exercises, you want to grab another set of dumbbells that are heavier because the dumbbells you can lift over your head are probably too light for this one. So that's why it's good to have <clears throat> some heavier ones. Okay, standing tall. Good, good, good. Let's work the front of our arms now. We're going to do a little bicep curl all the way down. So you want to go all the way down, open those arms all the way up, stretch them all the way back up, stretch them up, curl them up, bicep curl. And again, don't let your body do this. That's cheating. We can't be cheating. Got to make the arms do the work. This is my least favorite exercise. Uh, you got You still have to do it. I, I don't enjoy doing this one. I like working the triceps. I know. So you can make this one more exciting by doing this. You can add in some back steps. If you want to do that with me now, do some reverse lunges. So now you've got to think about what are your legs doing while your arms are doing this boring old bicep curl. Let's make it more exciting. We could also sing songs from the West Side Story while we do this. The most beautiful sound I've ever heard. Maria. Maria. Ma no, maybe we won't do that. Let's not do that. I don't want to make you suffer any more than you already are. Oh, boy. Okay. Feel those. Oh, active rest, active rest. We're almost done with these dumbbells. The shoulders should be feeling nice and warm by now. That's the idea. We want to warm them up. 
Let's do a little zipper exercise. So we bring those dumbbells together, bring them down in front, and let's pull them up. I just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly that will never, come on, everybody sing. We'll never be the same. Maria. Oh. All right. Four. Three, two, one. So you get why I call it the zippers, like the zipping up your jacket. Hey, let's put our dumbbells away. Let's take a short break, have a drink of water, and we'll get back, come back, and let's get some boxing going. I have to just go find my timer. I'll be back in two secs here. Hi there, Diane. Hi, how are you? Okay, I can't seem to work my video well. Okay. Okay, gang. Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Here we go. Thirty and thirty. Okay. How's everybody feeling? Give me a thumbs up. You feeling okay? You ready to go? Okay, make sure you got some room to move. Check around. No small dogs or animals or ferrets on the ground. Look around, look around. I'm just going to make sure that we're all muted. How many we got here today? Got a nice big group. 30, 34, so 33 plus me. Well done. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming out. Okay, hands up. If you're right handed, Left foot forward with your left hand kind of out in front, right? Like that. If you're right, if you're left handed, put your right foot forward, your right hand up. So, okay. Just a quick reminder we're going to go through all six. Let's just show you all six punches, just in case there's anybody new here today. Number one, jab at your left, left, straight out. So, not this, not a little tiny thing. Come on, let's commit. Let's commit to that punch because we're punching Mr. P, remember? We're punching that jerk, Mr. P. Number two, that's the cross with the right arm, if you're right-handed. Left cross if you're left-handed. So that right goes, and look at my hip. I'm doing that little shift, shift. So that's number two, that's the cross, that's the cross. Okay, don't, don't worry, we'll get lots of chance to practice these. Number three is the left hook. So you bring the arm, the elbow up and around. Boom, comes up and out. It's a hook. What does a hook look like? It's, it's like that. You hook it out. That's a hook. 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 That's the left hook. That's number three. Number four is the right hook. Up and around. Right hook. Yes. That's it. That's it. Good, good, good. Number five is our left uppercut. So you drop that hand from here up and come up and under. You're going for the chin, right? You can try to get him on the chin. Boom, boom. That's why we work those back muscles. You feel you gotta use those back muscles when you do this. Okay, number six. Number six is the right uppercut. Boom. That's the one that'll knock him out. 
give Mr. Pete a knockout punch. Okay. Now at the very end of today, we're gonna do our cheer and I want everyone to turn their microphones on at the very end. So I wanna hear you do the cheer. It's gonna sound really funny, but we're gonna do it. Number seven, number seven, number seven is a back hit. That's kind of my own little invention. You probably don't see that at other places, but I think it's an important one for Parkinson's especially because we want to keep the ability to twist in a meaningful way. We want to strengthen the muscles that allow us to twist. Very good. You guys are great. Number eight, uh, number eight, number eight is the right, <laughs> the right back hip. Sandy, keep me, uh, you're gonna keep me in, in check, right? You're like my, you're like my, my mentor. It's like the big sister I never had. You know, she, she reminds me when I mess, when I mess things up. She's been coming ever since I started these classes. So I, I look to her to keep me in check. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. All right, are you ready to go? Now remember, we're not gonna stand still like this. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna move the whole time. That's it, Marie. Marie's going for it. Queenie, I call her the Queenie. Here we go. Let's start. I like to start with a one, two. Ah, come on, you silly thing. Okay, let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I won't. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's it. One, two. One, two. Remember to twist that hip. And always start with your hands up under your chin. Good, take a break there. Let's just go for a little walk. Now we're gonna do a cardio for the second half. So we'll do a boxing move and we'll do some kind of cardio move. Sometimes we're gonna combine them. I can't get the volume up in this silly phone. Oh, there we go. That sounds good. Okay, keep walking. And what do we do when we walk? We swing our arms. Keep those arms swinging. That's it, you guys are great. We're gonna double up those two punches. We're gonna do a one, one, two, two. Let's go. One, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two. That's a double hip shift right there. One, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two. Two, one, one, two, two, five seconds. Okay, let's take that walk to a run if you can, only if you can. So I want to see you go a little faster. And you can move around a little bit if you want to. I see some of you are going all over the place. That's great. That's it, that's it. You can go forwards and backwards, side to side. Just do it safely. Just do it safely. 10 seconds. Three, fours, here we go. Three, four, those are our hooks. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. You got it. Three, four, looks great. Three, four, three, four. Keep it going. Four, three, four, three, four, three. Okay, let's do some little mini squats. How do we do these mini squats? Start with your arms back here, and then bring them forward as you squat down. Push out behind. Do not let your knees travel forward. Think of sitting on a chair. You're sitting on a chair. And don't bend way forward. Keep your chest up, just like that. It could be really small. It doesn't have to be a really big movement. Just like so. Good. Okay, let's do our uppercuts. Five and six. Here we go. Left, right, 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 left, right. Yes. Right, left, right, left, right. You got it. Looking good. Looking 
you had hit. Good. Let's do these little jumping jacks or kind of modified jumping jacks. Or if you feel really good, you can go for it. Do the big ones. But let's do a nice easy one here. Oh, I see some of you are doing the real ones. Holy smokes, good for you. I'm still tired from my run on Sunday, so I'm not going to do those. That's my excuse today. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, yeah. Five seconds. Well done, Roger. You did great. Good for you. Okay, let's do one, two, threes. One, two, three, and then take a few steps back. One, two, three. Take a few steps forward. One, two, three. A few steps back. One, two, three. A few steps forward. It doesn't have to be fast. It can be slow. You can just do slow steps like this. That's all good, too. Step forward. One, two, three. Step back. Good, 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 good. Hands out in front. Let's bring those knees up as high as you can. Bring those knees up so they chop the under part of, the, of your hands. Knees to hands, knees to hands. Keep it going, I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit. Let's do all six hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Find a new position. One, two, three, four, five, six. New position. One, two, three, four, five, six. New position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Find a new spot. Last one. Two, three. Four, five, six. Now watch this one. Hands on your hips, and we're gonna go side to side, but bring those heels up. Put those heels up to your backside. Okay. Take a big step forward, your left foot, and throw a one, two, come back. Take a big step with your right, throw a one, two, and back. Keep that going. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yes. One, two. If I'm going too fast, just slow it down. Don't worry. Take a big step. So it's almost like you're falling forward. You stop yourself, throw a couple punches. Now watch my feet. I'm going to go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Those of you who used to do aerobics back in the day, you'll be good at this one. Out, out, in, in. Out, out. At fast speed, it looks like this. But you don't have to do it that fast. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, in. Okay, let's work our... Our twisting muscles, let's do those seven eights. So seven, eight, seven, eight, seven. Imagine you're hitting something behind you. Seven, eight, 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 seven, eight. Okay, let's do our side steps, side steps, side steps. Keep those arms going, side steps. Speed bags going. You know how we do that one? Get that speed bag going. I love this one. Good. Good. Keep those arms up as fast as you can. This one's for the nervous system. Get it going, get it going, get it going. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going clockwise around my left hand right now. So 
That's kind of the more traditional way of doing it. We're gonna do reverse in a sec. Speaking of reverse, this one, start with your arms at your side. You're gonna step back and lift your arms up like that. As fast as you can, as fast as you can. The rhythm up, that's it. Oh yeah. Don't even think about it, just do. Don't think, do, as Yoda said. Don't think, ooh. Oh. My God, I can laugh at myself. Now, instead of doing this, we're gonna go the other way. The other way. It's like a reverse um, uh, paddle, like a big steam paddle. What do they call those things on the, you know, like a riverboat, riverboat paddle. Let's go in the opposite way now. Yes, keep those arms going. Fast, 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 fast. Look at you, you look great. Fantastic. Wow, way to go, Ray. You guys are fantastic. Woo, you got it, Roger. His orange shirt, fantastic. Okay, kicking time, let's do some kicks. Keep a chair handy if you need it. But we're gonna do this, we're gonna kick, kick. Lift that knee, and kick, kick. Doesn't have to be really high, but it's good. We're kicking Mr. P, take that Mr. P. We've knocked him down and we're kicking him. And I don't feel bad about that, I feel good about kicking Mr. Parkinson's. I don't like him, I don't like him. Okay, we did those kicks. Okay, let's do a three, four, five, six. Okay, what are those? Three, four, five, six. 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 All right. Well done. Running in place. We're almost done, you guys. Get those arms going. We're almost there. We're gonna finish with a little one-two speed round, which means you can do quick punches as fast as you can. All right, Let's see what you got left in the in the bank here. What do you got left? Come on, show me. Show me. 10 seconds, keep that going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, hands up. This time we're not gonna go way out like this. We're gonna do short and fast, go. It's tiring. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it going, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yes, yes, yes. 15 seconds, keep it going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If, if you start finding your hands are freezing, slow down. Slow down and get the motion going. Sometimes when you try to go too fast, everything freezes up. One, two, one, two, one, two. Woo! There goes the work whistle. All right, give those arms a swing. Hope you're a little warmer than when you started. Oh, uh, yes. Just some nice gentle swings. Keep going. I wanna, as promised, I wanna work a little more on some legs and core here. So first things first, I'm gonna bring that down. Let's grab those chairs, yours, stand behind your chair. And I want you to go up on your toes and back on your heels. Really, really, really important to, uh, to keep the muscles in your lower extremities strong and to keep the mobility in your ankles. It plays a huge role in balance. So you wanna strengthen the calf muscles and the shin muscles in the front. So when you go up on your toes, guess what? That's your calf muscles. When you pull your toes up, you strengthen the shin muscles in front. I can't stress enough how important it is to, to do the exercise like this. You can do this every single day. How long does this take? You know, not long at all. You can watch TV while you do this. Stand up and make sure you're holding something and try to keep getting higher and higher. It's so important. And the big thing with this one is not to bend your knees, not to bend your knees. Your legs stay straight, right? So it's just the ankles that are bending. That's where the action is. It's, it's a hinge, your ankle is a hinge joint. So up, up, up. The other one that you can do every day is the leg abduction. Lift that leg up and out to the side, right? Just up like that. Keep the toe pointed straight ahead. Don't turn the toe up and out. So go slow. When we started, we were doing those leg swings. This one's more about a lift than a swing. Now you're actually lifting it, fighting against gravity. 
lift that leg and you're going to feel it all down the side. That's good. So you want to feel it. We're abducting, which means to take away. So abduct means to take away from your midline, from the center. Good. I think Shelly's gone now. We can talk about her if you guys want to talk about Shelly. <laughs> Shelly's amazing. If you have ever taken one of Shelly's classes, I highly recommend checking it out on the website. Shelly Yu, why you? She really knows her stuff. She's fun. It's not as funny as I am, but she tries her best. <laughs> well, she's not as annoying as I am. Let's switch legs, that's for sure. Okay, out we go. We love you, Shelly. Big lift. Oh, and I forgot to mention, any time that you lift, you know, you're, you're extending your leg out to the side, you kind of have to compensate by leaning to the other side, right? If you were to try to do this and stay it upright, it doesn't work, you kind of have to lean away from it. It's kind of a natural. Most people just will do that naturally. That's it, Richard, you got it. Good lean, Richard. Speaking of funny, Richard's a pretty funny guy. I mean, not, not even, I don't mean funny looking, Richard. I mean funny, you're funny. There you go. Some of you are new to me, but I know lots of you from my drumming classes and, and past Rock City boxing classes. So it's great to see new people. It's great to see old people. I mean, not old people, you know, people that have been coming from before. That didn't come out right. You know what I mean. Now let's turn and face the chair. I take your left leg and kick it up and out straight. So now it looks like this. I'm going straight back. Yeah, it's great to see all you old people. Uh, keep that leg straight. Old friends, old friends. That's it. So now I am actually leaning forward a, just a little bit. I'm not doing this. I'm not trying to tilt them. And you do have to compensate. Anytime your limb goes in one direction, you compensate. That's good to know for balance too, right? So, you, so when your limbs are moving, you have to always think about what's moving and then you have to counteract that. Switch legs. If you were to try to do this while staying upright, it's pretty hard. But it feels better if you do that, right? So, yes. Now, I promised you we were going to do a core exercise or two today. So in a moment, we're going to sit in our chairs, and I'm going to show you how to strengthen the tummy muscles without having to do a sit-up. Isn't that good news? Nobody wants to go down the floor and do a sit-up. That's no fun. That's no fun. Okay, so let's have a seat in our chair. I'll show you my angle. And I am kind of, kind of, I'm not going to sit way back like this. I'm going to scooch myself forward, and I'm going to sit in the forward position on my chair without falling off. And I'm going to put my hands up like this. Okay. That's the start position. From there, you're going to lean back so you almost touch. And you want to keep your back as straight as possible and go slow. When you come back, you're going to feel these stomach muscles engaging. You can even try it. Put your hand on your stomach. If you want to, you can feel it. So that's a reverse sit back. And you want to make it harder. Oops, somebody just came. When you go back, you want to pause and then come forward, but don't let your back touch the back of the chair. Back, engage, 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 and forward. So yes, you might have to scooch forward just a tiny bit. You know you got this one right when you feel it the next day. Good, good. Now look around you. Have you got your dumbbell nearby? We're going to use a dumbbell, one dumbbell. You got it nearby, grab it, and I'll show you what we're going to do. I'll start doing it. You can join me when you're ready. You're going to hold one dumbbell like this. Hold its ears. You're going to lean back and you're going to twist like this. So you stay in that leaning back position without touching and you go side to side. Well, that's really working on these oblique muscles. Twist. And you can straighten one leg out so, you're, so your leg's straight. That kind of will, will give you a little anchor. Or you can hold on to something heavy got a big dog you can put your legs around your dog squeeze the dog oh you feel that now yes that's good that's good you feel it working Woo. excellent four three two one 
two. Last one. Good. So there's one more little thing we could do for core. So the first one was a sit back. The second is a Russian twist, I think they used to call those. We'll call them Ukrainian twists now. How about that? <laughs> and now bring your hand up like this, like you're almost like you're saluting. Come down, then open. So you bring that elbow down to your opposite knee, just like that. Open, down we go. Keep breathing. And take that elbow back up as far back as you can. That's it. Let's switch sides. Sit nice and tall, bring that elbow down. It's good for your flexibility as well. It kind of stretches out things. Just like so. Good. All right. Now take your hands, let's reach down between the legs. It's good, you're already out on the edge of your chair, that's perfect. Stretch out those back muscles. Try to get your fingers on the floor. All five of them. That's a challenge, that's a challenge. You gotta suck your gut in, <laughs> it helps. Now take your hands and reach down, put both your hands on your left foot. Can you reach down to your left foot? Hands over to your right foot. Okay, sitting tall, sitting tall. Bring those hands together, we're gonna to reach up. Just like that, and we're gonna do a little tilt to the left. Okay, now I want you to turn your microphones back on, folks. You know how to do that. Or at least most of you will hopefully know. All right. How are we feeling? Good? Yeah. 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 Awesome, guys. That's great work. Everyone works so hard. So we're going to do a cheer. So you got to put your hand in right here, okay? Put your hand in. We do rock steady cheers here. So repeat after me. We got spirit. Yes, we do. We, we got spirit. spirit. Yes, yes, we, we do. do. We got spirit. How about you? We got, got spirit. spirit. How about you? We're throwing crosses, hooks and jabs. Throwing, throwing crosses, crosses, hooks and jabs. And Our boxing skills are really fab. Our boxing skills are really fab. We won't give up. We won't give in. We won't, we won't give up. 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 We won't Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. See you next Thanks. time. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. 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 Take care. Take care of yourselves.